13 hours of sleep in the past three days. And I'll let you know how I did on my PAs. All right, you guys, we just finished week one of training. Woo! It was intense. It has been an emotional roller coaster. It's because I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> I am at flight attendant training and this is day three of training. That's 3.02 a.m. you guys. It's 3.02 in the morning. I have to catch the bus at 4.15. So can you tell that my eyes are red? Uh, it's because I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> this training is no joke. Um, we are on day three and um, I've had a combined amount of 13 hours of sleep in the past three days. Pretty sure you're supposed to get eight hours a night. <laughs> it is intense. I think they're getting us ready for what uh, flight attendant life is going to be like in real life, but I hope that I'll be able to manage my sleep a little bit better. I've been um, prioritizing like meeting people and um, over like coming back to my room by myself and getting my work done. So I think I'm going to continue to do a little bit more of coming home by myself and getting my work done just so I can um, get more sleep. So yesterday, our class started at uh, 5.30. We had to meet the bus at, no, that's not true. Our class started at 6. We had to be in the lobby by 5 a.m., get on the bus at 5.15 a.m., leave at 5.30 for class to start at 6. And then class went until four. So it was at a, a, a 10 hour class. And then we got home. I got home, I, I say four, maybe 4.30. Because I remember getting home around a little bit before 5 p.m. Anyway, today it's an hour earlier. So to meet in the lobby at four, to get on the bus at 4.15, to leave at 4.30, to class, start class at five. And today is the day that everybody's been anticipating. Again, it's day three. And everybody's been anticipating today because today is the day that we have to recite our PAs, our public service announcements. So all those announcements that you guys hear on the plane that the flight attendants make, um, they're all memorized, or at least for trainees they are. I'm not sure when you're really out on the line whether or not you can read them or you probably know them so well because you've done them so many times. But anyway, um, we were given that as pre-work before coming to training. So we had some time to memorize them. So we are getting tested on that today. It's basically like, basically a pass fail. Um, so I'm ready for it. I'm very ready for it. I will let you know how I do. And I am looking forward to sharing what I know. So hopefully um, that turns out well for me. We dress business casual every day so far um, in the, for, for training class. Now eventually, I think we're going to dress a little bit more casually because we're going to be doing some more physical work like down on the ground doing CPR and moving doors and that kind of stuff. Um, this job is very physically demanding. We haven't gotten to that yet, but oh my gosh, I can't wait to share it with you when we do it. I can't wait to learn it. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. This is a um, cute little red shirt and I'm going to put some red lipstick on. I put my hair halfway up and little short pants and red shoes. I feel like one of those fresh talk girls. <laughs> but anyway, it's been fun to, um, for, to kind of dress up every day and um, meet my cohorts. So see you guys after class and I'll let you know how I did on my PAs. Wish me luck. Good morning, you guys. I'm sneaking right down here to talk to you because it is 3.21 in the morning. I will show you the clock in just a second and I'm getting ready to go. I have to meet the bus at four o'clock. So that means we have to be in the lobby by 3.30. So I've got nine minutes to get down there. I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, I haven't seen you in two days and that's because the last time I filmed, I was gonna be going for my PA test and I, I passed it once. I passed it, yay, the first time, so that's good. And um, it has just been insanely busy since then between 
class, like 12 hour classes, and then you have to come home and immediately do your homework and immediately study because you want to try to get to bed so you can at least get four to five hours of sleep. It's insane, it's insane, but I absolutely love it. Um, I am, I think what they're doing, trying to do is like get us into a routine like of crazy odd hours and working long days and that kind of stuff. So um, what we're learning is awesome, but I, I really don't have enough time to tell you about it right now. So when I get back tonight, hopefully I'll get a chance to tell you it is Friday and we don't have class tomorrow um, this weekend. So I will have a little bit more time that I can sort of catch up with you guys and um, fill you in on everything that we've been doing and um, hopefully catch up. I'm sleeping in tomorrow. I can't even tell you. Um, I'm so sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> so hang tight. I have another um, proficiency, like a test this morning. Um, they're going to test us on some equipment knowledge. So I'm going to go study for that. And I also have this huge blister. Look, I was wearing my flight attendant shoes and they're new and I got a big blister and I don't want to see my, my dogs. But um, I don't have any band-aids, so I'm gonna to try to go down to the lobby a little bit early and get some band-aids from the vending machine and um, so I can wear my shoes and not be in as much pain today as I was yesterday. All right, so I gotta go, you guys. I can't wait to see you later. All right, you guys, we just finished week one of training. Woo! We're so excited. We're getting off the bus now and headed to the hotel for the weekend. We do have, thank you very much. We do have a lot of studying still to do, but everybody's going to go to bed and take a big fat nap and then probably go out and celebrate with a nice dinner and maybe some margaritas. There's been some margarita discussion going on. All right, you guys, I'm back in my room now. After getting off the bus, I'm just gonna give you a brief rundown of what training is like. Um, cause I don't really don't know how much I've told you and how much I haven't, my head is about to explode. So I've been, we just finished day five of the first week of four weeks of flight attendant training and it was intent. It has been an emotional roller coaster because there are certain proficiencies and certain exams that you need to pass. And if you don't, you get sent home and it is, it's intense, but it's, but it's necessary that it's intense because being a flight attendant entails a whole bunch more than just serving drinks. That's the comfort part, but we're there for your comfort and safety. So safety is really, really important. So we learn all the different safety equipment on the aircraft. We learn the aircraft itself. We learn who can sit where on the aircraft based on um, the certain passenger need or well, certain aircraft needs in each section. I mean, it's just, there's so much, there's FAA, there's all kinds of stuff. And this is only week one. But anyway, um, I'm happy to say that I passed both my proficiencies and my PA exam or PA test this week. And then we'll start again next week. Next week on Thursday, we have a huge exam. Um, so I've got to get ready for that. But so far, so good. I love my class. I love, it's so nice to meet everybody and everybody is so supportive. Um, so basically what happens is we get up in the morning and we catch the bus and uh, the bus to the training center. And um, we've been catching the bus around 4.30 every morning. So I get up at three and then I'm ready by four. So we have to go down to the lobby and then we get on the bus at 4.15, 4 wait. Three, four, you get on the bus at 4.15, 4.30 the bus leaves, gets to the training center, we start at five. And we generally go till about four o'clock in the afternoon. So it's usually, a, what's that, an 11 hour day? Is that right? Yes, oh my gosh. And then we come home and we have homework. So we start the homework and um, we'll have an, some type of proficiency or exam the next day. So not only do we have to do the homework, but we also have to study for an exam that's usually two different topics the next day. It is wild anyway it's so fun it's so great learning these th things the best part about it is doing it with the um the people in my class so hopefully you'll get a chance to meet some of those people um i don't really tell anybody that i'm on youtube but um they they saw f my tiktoks <laughs> so they know i am so um everybody's saying they want to be on a tiktok so maybe we'll get them on youtube too so you guys can meet some of my cohorts so that being said maybe um we'll get them on film um this weekend and you guys can get a chance to meet them but i have to ask their permission because i don't want to violate any policy or anything like that but anyway we are going to go down and celebrate like i said earlier and um have some dinner and maybe a cocktail or two and cheer our success so far and making it through week one. So I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I, I really haven't been vlogging much because it's been so busy, but I think this weekend I will. And hopefully we'll hear from Brennan and Katie and Ryan and Mike. It's hard to believe that I'm here and that I just finished my first week of training. 
We went out to celebrate for it with some Texas barbecue and some good old live country music. I danced with my cohorts and we really just let loose. So I am really, really looking forward to week two. And stay tuned to follow my journey from flight attendant candidate to actual graduating flight attendant. Wish me luck.